Trezarian White is in the portal. This is a familiar one to a lot of people that watched UNC Wilmington this season. Uh, you may have watched UNC Wilmington this season for a variety of reasons. The loudest reason being they went into Rupp Arena and they walked out with a victory. They beat Kentucky 80 to 73. In that game, Trezarian White came off the bench and all he did was give you 27 and 10 off the bench in 30 minutes. Uh, he was the best player on the floor that game. And the floor included Reed Shepard, Rob Dillingham, Antonio Reeves. It was Trezarian White who was the best player in Rupp Arena that night. Uh, on the season, Great player, averaged 20 a game, seven rebounds, 1.6 assists, 49% from the floor, 39% from three, 71% from free throw. There's not really much to knock here. He attempted two threes per game. He's gotten better season by season throughout his career, but he's been a productive player pretty much all of it. He uh, was kind of a on and off the bench guy his freshman year, and then his sophomore year, he started all 34 games, averaged 14 a game up to his junior year where he was a 20 points a game scorer, super efficient. And uh, he came off the bench 10 out of 30 games this year. I don't know what was up with that, but anyways, this kid's awesome. Six, six, 180 pound forward, all CAA last year and the year before that. I think he's ready for a jump to the high major level. What do you think? I a hundred percent think he's ready for it. I think that his improvement from year to year has been impressive. And also like, I don't don't ask me why I found myself in this spot, but I was going through like UNC Wilmington reporters in Twitter. And sometimes when players transfer, there's like a different tone on guys transferring and things like that. Just nothing but nice things to say about him. He was a guy who accepted a bench role, even though he was kind of the best player on UNC Wilmington. Um, and it led to success for their team. Um, and I think that, his improvement from year to year uh, really means something and gives you optimism that coming into his next season, he could be even better of a three point shooter and, you know, even better of a player. So like, uh, I think that he is one of those guys too, that at like six, seven has the size can really create a mismatch issue too, for a lot of guys in college playing like maybe a bigger size three or like an undersized four man. Yeah. Uh, I completely agree. And we have a list. This is live while we're recording this. Shout out to the timing of Tipton edits. Joe Tipton, friend of the show, uh, dropping his schools that he's heard from already as we record this video. Not what I was expecting. I'll say that. Uh, he has seven schools that have reached out to him. Arkansas, Mississippi State, Texas Tech, Baylor, SMU, Oklahoma, and West Virginia. I would have thought two of those would be in consideration for Trezarian White. I would have thought it's Arkansas and Baylor, kind of tier A portal schools. Everybody else in here, I would throw in like tier B to tier C. I think Trezarian White's a better player than this list. No? Yeah, I'm a little, in, I'm, I'm very interested by this list. I thought that, well, I thought Kentucky would be on the list for one, just even after. I know it's not the same Kentucky team, but Mark Pope saw what happened uh, and he is Kentucky. Um, Obviously, he's from Mansfield, Texas. So, like, a team like Baylor makes a lot of sense, in my opinion. Like, they lose Jalen Bridges this season. Insert Trezarian White. That is a seamless fit right there. That would literally be perfect and would have me even more in on Baylor. And then, obviously, Arkansas, Coach Cal, he saw him torch their ass. So, you know, he's going to give him a call. Card, do you mind if I do something real quick? Does it involve getting the Baylor? Because I need him on Baylor. Does but okay, okay, do it. What just happened? Did you just drop something? This just fell in my lap. <laughs> Trezarian White just fell into Scotcher's lap here. This is what's happening a superstar Jalen Bridges replacement from the state of Texas that should be blue blood bound is just there for the taking out of nowhere. And the only competition is Arkansas. The only competition, uh -huh. the only competition is Alvin Brooks. Okay. That, that is scary, but also like, maybe this is a Scott Drew slaps around his old buddy moment here. Like, Oh, oh also, hold also, on Alvin. Also, this doesn't have to do with Alvin. Cause Alvin could get Trezarian there. And then like, still has got to, you know, you still got to meet with Mark Pope. And, and when you can meet with Scott Drew. I want to know that if Scott Drew and Alvin go head to head, it ends with Scott Drew saying, thanks for playing Alvin. 
Like that's <laughs> this is this is not it's Scott True, man. Um I yeah, I I'll be I mean, I'm doing projecting here. I don't have any information on this. Just looking at this list and where he's from and all of that and the fit, the only answer for me is Baylor. Like, it's a perfect fit. He could go to Baylor along with Jeremy Roach and along with whatever center they end up getting. You mix in uh, VJ Edgecombe, you mix in Jaden Nunn. Cart, that's a top three team in the country immediately. Like, that's my favorite Baylor team since the team that won the national championship. Uh, And Trezarian White, Damn well, no, not making this up. I think he could be the best player on that team. He definitely probably, like that is a great. That's a that's a hell of a lineup right there. Hell of one. You could even go small ball with White at the five for a little bit of periods if you want to. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that would scare me here, obviously, Arkansas bag. Does Kentucky get involved? I still think they will. And if they do. Something about the appeal, like just a guy who went nuclear in Rupp. Um, and from a Kentucky standpoint, by the way, surprise Mark Pope hasn't been named already because one, Mark Pope's been making the rounds and recruiting a lot of guys. But two, talk about an ad that would get the fan base riled up. Like the fan base saw this dude torch a John Calipari team. And if Mark Pope could bring him in, like that would be a marquee ad that everyone's excited about. Yeah, 100%. I'm very, very surprised. At the list in general, but not to see Kentucky on this list. That doesn't make make much sense to me. Like, and I don't mean to make this a thing about a dude the arrow, but like, why do I want to do the arrow if I can get Trezarian White? Doesn't make sense. Maybe it's just fresh and this will change. But yeah, in my head, there's no question. I would much rather have Trezarian. Um, all right, we'll see what happens. Where where does he go? Is it Baylor? Sick him. My only prediction here is that it's not Baylor, and I get really upset about it. Is there one school on this list that would infuriate you? Honestly, I'll say this. I ain't trying to watch him play for Porter Moser, and I love my dog Porter, but I'm just not trying to see him play in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Uh, it's really yeah. gross. I also – I don't know how to describe this, but if he goes to Tucker DeVries nepotism oh, school. That's disgusting. I'd be really mad. Yeah, go go to a winning program and help them win. If you've been watching our videos this season, you know that we are presented by MyBookie. Carter, tell the people about MyBookie. MyBookie is the official sports book of Sleepers Media. They have everything you need from expert predictions, write-ups. I mean, any 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 way you want to bet, MyBookie makes it easy for you to play your way and get paid. And right now, Gregory, we have an instant deposit bonus up to $1,000. All you have to do is use promo code SLEEPERS. That's promo code sleepers. Take advantage of this great offer today and everything that my bookie has to offer. Yeah, the NCAA tournament may be over. The madness, maybe it's put to bed for a little bit. But college basketball is still rocking. It's transfer portal season. NBA playoffs are coming soon. There's still a ton to bet on, and you should bet with us at my bookie. The link is in the description of this video. Use promo code sleepers. 